What's going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm giving you the start to one of the best melee builds in all of Fallout 76. We have the Budget Chainsaw build. Starting off over in the build, these are the base stats that make up our Budget Chainsaw build, so if you want to use the exact build I'm using, this is the start. Starting off in Strength, we have 15, and this one can have all these Slugger cards maxed out to get the maximum amount of damage out of this build. We have Incisor at 3 stars. Your melee and unarmed weapons ignore 75% of your target's armor. We have Martial Artists at 3 stars. Your melee weapons weigh 60% less, and you can swing them 30% faster. Over in Perception, we have 1, and this one can have a Refactor at 1 star. Star, gain a plus 10 to energy resistance. Over in endurance, we have 9, and this one can have life giver at 3 stars. Gain a total plus 45 to your maximum health. We have ironclad at 2 stars. Gain 20 damage and energy resistance while not wearing power armor. We have fireproof at 3 stars. Take 45% to less damage from explosions and flame attacks. Over in charisma, we have 6, and this one can have field surgeon at 1 star. Stim packs and Radway will now work much more quickly. We have strange in numbers at 1 star. Positive mutation effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are also mutated. We have Tenderizer at 3 stars. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 3, and this one can have First Aid at 3 stars. Stim packs restore 45% more lost health. Over in Agility, we have 11, and this one can have Action Boy at 3 stars. Action points regenerate 45% faster. We have Evasive at 3 stars. Each Agility point adds a plus 3 to damage and energy resist, max 45 no power armor. We have Adrenaline at 5 stars. Gain a 10% to max 60% of damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. Over in luck, we have 11, and this one can have Bloody Mess at 3 stars. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red paste. We have Better Criticals at 3 stars. Vats Criticals now do plus 100% to damage. We have Ricochet at 3 stars. Gain 18% chance to deflect back some of your enemies' range damage, no PvP. And we have Starch Genes at 2 stars. You'll never mutate from Rads, and Radway will never cure your mutations. These are all my normal perk cards that make up our budget chainsaw build. Now let's get to my armor, weapons, and buffs. Starting off over in the armor, what we're using is a full set of Vanguard's gear, which grants up the plus 35 to energy resistance and damage resistance to higher health and since we're a high health build this is absolutely amazing over in the under armor what we're using is my shielded secret service under armor to get a plus four to our strength a plus two to our perception and a plus four to our endurance over my backpack what i'm using is my standard backpack with a high capacity mod to get a plus 120 to our carry weight over in the weapon this is it this is my three star legendary flaming chainsaw with the main legendary effect being the vampire's effect which is gain breathe health regeneration when you hit an enemy has a plus one to endurance and it also has a 40 percent faster swing speed over the mods we're using the dual bar and of course the flamer mod over in our buffs starting off with our food buffs we have mute fruit juice to get a plus two to our agility simple firm flower tea to get a plus two to our strength Potato Juice to get a plus 20 to our max AP. Blight Soup to get a plus 100% to our critical damage. We have Carrot Soup to get a plus 4 to our perception. And we of course have a perfect bubblegum that way our hunger and thirst mirrors do not increase. Over in the Kim buffs, we're using Overdrive to get a plus 30% to our critical damage. And we're using Psycho buffs to get a plus 65 to our max HP, plus 3 to our endurance, plus 3 to strength, and a plus 25% to damage. And if you take these Overdrive then Psycho buffs, you can stack these. Now over in the demonstrations, with our all-powerful budget chainsaw build, we've made our way over to the West Tech Research Center, and that's because there's a ton of green guys over here that need to be sold up, and we're gonna start with this guy right here. Now the cool thing about this gun is, well, if you're in third person and you hold down the little trigger like that, you can actually still sprint, so watch this. Get out of my way, boy! Come on, get out of my way! Get out of my way! But if you're in first person, you actually cannot sprint while using this. So, that's one thing to keep in mind. You can use it however you like. I personally like using it in first person because I like the view of everything. But you can also just let me heal myself real quick. You can also just go into third person. Oh, God. And tackle this guy. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. What about you, sir? Get on out of here. Get on out of here. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. This is an insane amount of damage. We're just going to walk over to these guys. I'm going to actually aim at their head. Like this. Here we go. Oh, God, he's dead. What about you, sir? Could you ascend the power of the chainsaw? Huh? 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 Let me... Oh, oh. Wait just a second. I need to put some more gas into it. Okay, okay. Now, here we go. There we go. Look at that. 0.2 seconds, and he is dead. Uh-oh. We have flying meat. Look at that. What in the world is going on over here? The wind is really, really blowing up here in the Appalachian Mountains. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh god, we got we got guys. Let me just uh do a little 360 into here. There we go. Nice. I'm gonna sprint up to this guy, chop off his kneecaps. There we go, fantastic. Then we're gonna hit this dude in the face. Oh super mutant! Here we go. <clears throat> Told you we're gonna hit him in the face. And he's on fire. Look at that. That's cool. Okay, there we go. And just like that, all of our super mean brethren are no more. The next waste I'm on Strassi on our list to fill the wrath of our chainsaw build is E1. The only, the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name Alan. Oh, Alan, what you doing over here, brethren? Let me see your melee weapon real quick. You ain't got nothing in your hand, just a balled up fist. Let me come over here. Okay, there he is. He has a giant little hydrant now. Hit me in the face, brethren. Let me see how tanky I am real quick. 
don't want to get rads on me, so come on, get up here. Come on, come on. Here, I'll get over here for you. There we go, fantastic. Hit me a couple times, if you must. Oh, oh, my face. Is that it? Oh, okay. You hit harder that way. There we go. Is that all you get, brethren? Because I'm about to heal the crap out of myself with my chainsaw. Look at that. Look at that. He cannot withstand the power of the chainsaw. And he almost... Oh, God. Jesus. Quit. Wait just a second, dude. Whoa. Oh, there we go. He cannot withstand the power of the chainsaw. Our next target on the list to fill the wrath of the chainsaw build is my arch nemesis of Vault 51. We have the level 75 Scorched Overseer that goes by the name Nancy. We're just going to run up to her, start sawing her. Okay, look how fast that health drops. Oh my god. Let me get the face shots real quick. And just like that, Nancy is no more. If you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video over the budget heavy gunner build. So if you want to check it out, I'll link in the screen right now. You see that? That is my heavy gunner build.